Oh boy, Nintendo just announced a brand new console, the Nintendo Switch OLED Edition. That is not what we are expecting and why the title saying you shouldn't buy it. Well, you came to the right place. Welcome to TechSplay. Hello everyone and today I will talk about the brand new Nintendo Switch OLED. In this video, I will explain all the new things about this model and why you shouldn't rush to buy one. So let's get started. Nintendo just announced their long-awaited upgrade for the original Switch. They call it the Switch OLED, which its main feature is the OLED screen as the name says. This new OLED technology offers deeper blacks and better colors than most LCD screens like those on the original Switch. The screen is also larger than the last model, coming in at 7 inches up from 6.2 inches, but sadly it still runs on 720p. This model is also slightly longer and heavier, but you should notice it that much. Other than the new screen, this revised model includes an adjustable stand for tabletop play, 64 gigs of built-in storage up from 32 gigs, but you still probably need a micro SD, a new dock with a wired internet port built in, and improved audio. The original Joy-Cons will also still work. This new model will launch on October 8, costing 50 bucks more than the current model at $350. Or that's cool and all, but this is not a model we are expecting to release. As you might know, rumors and leaks about the next Switch is saying it was supposed to be a pro model, instead of this OLED, which to most user is quite disappointing, as it was expected to unveil at ET 2021. The Pro model is supposed to come with a lot more new features, such as better processing power for a much improved graphics, 4K docking mode, OLED or mini LED display, and a better battery life. Nintendo also confirms there's no new CPU or increased RAM in this OLED model, and it also seems like there's no Bluetooth support for audio, which a lot of people ask. Sadly, there is also no improvement to battery life, and the rumored 4K docking mode is also not here, which means there's not a lot of difference between the original model to justify an upgrade. Yikes! So if you already own a Nintendo Switch, I don't think this is compelling enough to upgrade. And with such little difference, you better off waiting, as the rumored Pro model might be coming really soon with much better features, especially for power users. But in the other hand, if you never own a Switch, or you want a bigger beta screen, I think this model is really worth it. For 350 bucks, this model seems like a good deal for those who want a new Switch if the current one is broken and don't really care about the next model. So if you don't care about the new screen and other small features, it's not the upgrade for you. So that's our knowledge for today, I hope this video can help you understand more about the brand new Nintendo Switch OLED and why it's probably not worth it to buy the console right now. Alright, this is the end of the video, thanks for watching hit the like button if you enjoyed it, come back next week for more knowledge about tech and subscribe so you won't miss it. I'm Harris from TechLedge and peace!